Hey, what's up? This is Matt Dietz, and this is Agency Launch. This is the show where I talk about running an insurance agency. I talk about sales and marketing strategies for insurance agents. I talk about staffing for insurance agents. I talk about retention and customer service for insurance agents. One of the most popular questions that I get right now is, hey, Matt, I know I'm supposed to quote a certain amount of people every day. How do I find people to quote? Well, if you text me right now to 208-213-8809, I have an asset pulled directly from my master class that I'm giving out for free. Text me 20 policies to 208-213-8809, and I will show you how to write 20 policies this week. On with the show. All right, I got something for you today. I got another feather to put in your cap. I got another tool to put in your toolbox. I wanted to introduce you to Brightco. Brightco is an online jewelry insurance carrier, and uh, they are making your life easier and your customers' lives easier. How? Well, quoting is super easy. You can do a quote in like two minutes by answering six questions. All their policies are backed by an AM Best A plus rated insurance carrier. Renewals are automatic. Claims will not be reported on a clue report. That is huge. Their plans offer $0 deductibles. They have 125% replacement cost value. They cover mysterious disappearance. It's everything you want in your jewelry coverage. So do me a favor. If you want to get appointed or check them out, go to bright.co slash Matt Dietz. That's bright.co slash M-A-T-T-D-I-E-T-Z. Get in. Hey, what's up? I wanted to talk today about mortgage brokers, working with some agents and we're talking about this and it's something that's been a part of my journey from day one. I remember when I first started as an agent and I kind of had this panic moment where I was like, hey, how do you do this job? (laughs) Like I passed all my tests, I had my computer, I had my, my new cell phone and I was all excited, but I realized I didn't know what to do. And so I went to my DM and I said, I did, I was like, Hey, like, how do you do this job? He was like, well, you want to, you go on the market and you want to get out and you got to meet mortgage brokers. And I was like, Oh, that makes sense. And he's like, just drop them off donuts once a week or something like that. And that way you'll be able to get their business. And I was like, all right. So anyway, uh, it took me a while to find my footing with this because I found like an, I felt like an idiot when I started going out and trying to meet mortgage brokers because I went in with my stack of cards and I was like, Hey, I'm Matt. I'm going to, I'm a new insurance agent and I'm going to give you great rates and give your clients good service. And then I'd look down on the desk and I'd be like, Oh damn, there's four other insurance agents cards here. I'm not the first one here. I'm not the first one to think of this. And I left and I felt like an idiot, you know, I was like, well, there's gotta be something. What can you do different? And this is where this is something that that I'm good at, you know. I don't run with the crowd. Like I do want to get in front of mortgage brokers, but you got to find a different way to do it. So, something I wanted to share with you is an idea that I had recently that I think will work. So, you know, finding good mortgage brokers can be a really, really important part of your agency. Okay, if you've got someone sending you business for free every month, like, what? Well, why wouldn't you do that? You know. Mortgage brokers have to have insurance to close a loan. They have to. It's a formal part of the process. They have to ask you, or they have to ask their client who is going to insure this property. And you want your name to come out of their mouth if they need a referral. Okay. So how do you how do you get mortgage brokers to refer to you? How do you do it? So one of the things that I've talked about in the past is like finding mortgage brokers to refer to you is kind of like dating. Okay. You gotta, you gotta get along. You know, you almost want to get to a point where you guys are like buddies or your friends. So you, you got to know them a little bit deeper than just like the guy that stops in and drops off bagels and you talk a little bit of shop and then you leave. Okay. What, what can you do differently? How can you stand out than the other six agents that showed up before you? So golf, I was, I like to golf. It's something that I like to do. If you can get on a golf course with a mortgage broker, you have their attention for four and a half to five hours, okay? That's an awesome way to get to know 
anybody, you know, from a marketing standpoint. But if you're playing golf with a mortgage lender, like, a hey, pay for the round, you know, and then just get to know each other, you know. That's one way. If you don't golf, I get it. Not everybody golfs, but and not all mortgage brokers golf either, but that's one way. The other thing that I like is that if you can align with somebody who you share similarities with, you know, you share hobbies, you share interests, maybe you both like the same band, maybe your families are the same age, maybe you have kids that are the same age, maybe you started your businesses at the same time, you know, maybe you you can always find something in common, okay, but what you want to do is, you know, ideally find somebody that you can just be comfortable with, you know, be yourself with, be authentic with, so you get that feeling when you're around people, you know, that you're attracted to. And those are the people you want to get to know a little bit better. So if you, if you're courting a mortgage broker and you're out for coffee, if you're out for lunch or whatever, and you're just like, I can't really dig this person. They're really cool. What I would recommend that you do is I have a form in my agency launch program and I've used this for employees new employees, but you can totally repurpose it for this reason. So really it's like a quick questionnaire, right? It's like 12 or 13 questions. And I give it to my employees upon hire, you know, on their first day, right? Hey, fill this out. And it's just a bunch of semi, not personal, but just questions that are a little bit like, what are they like? What are their likes? Like, where's their favorite place? to eat in town? What's their favorite coffee? What do they like to drink? What would they like in the fridge? Where do they, where's their favorite coffee shop in town? What do they like to do on their free time? If they have a spouse, what does their spouse like to do? If they have children, what are their children's hobbies? How old are their kids? You know, what school do they go to? Oh, what else? I mean, you could just, you can build this however you want to, you know, what's your favorite movie? What's your favorite band? What's your favorite sports team? What kind of streaming services do you like you know what kind of how do you listen to music you know just you can come up with a dozen questions you know so that you can get to know them a little bit more you get them to fill that out and you use this moving forward for your team you use it as a way to reward them so if they're having a good week or they make a big sale or something like that and you want to reward them you know you pull out the form and you're like oh that was awesome i'm going to treat them to dinner and that way you don't have to be like i wonder where they like to go to dinner now you know they like to go to whatever. This is their favorite place in town. I'm going to buy them a nice dinner for them or them and their spouse or whatever. Thank you so much. Good job. You can do this. I rewarded one of my team members with a subscription to MLB, the MLB baseball app where you could watch every game for a whole year because we love baseball. And so... I wanted Monty to be able to watch the Braves all year. So it was like 120 bucks or something like that. And he had a great year. And so I was like, congratulations. Now you can watch the Braves whenever you want from wherever you want. Okay. I'm like, it's a great gift. It's a hundred bucks, right? You can do this to mortgage brokers too. Obviously check with your rules and regulations for gifting and stuff like that, but have them fill this out. Okay. Say, Hey, fill this out and get it back to me. That way, you know, you don't have to drop off. Something that may not they may not like. Well, it's like, what if you're dropping off, you know, a case of Red Bull and they are like they don't they don't drink sugar, okay? Or what if you bring them some food and they're vegetarian or something like that? Like you really want these things to be aligned. And so if you if you're like, hey, I really want to get to know you, what your likes are, like fill this out and get it back to me. I promise you, you will be the only insurance agent that will ever do this for a mortgage lender or their team. Give it to their processors too, right? The processors are the one that are that might be doing the referrals. Hey, can you give this to you and your processor? Fill it out and get it back to me. It's so easy. It's so smart to be able to do this. You get to know them a little bit. You might read over that and be like, oh, now you might have three or four more things to talk about. Oh my God, I love that place. Oh my God, I love that team. Or you can talk a little smack. You'd be like, you're a Raiders fan? <laughs> now you got something to talk smack about, you know, or whatever it's going to be. It's just a smart way to get to know people a little bit better so that you can take care of them moving forward. So if you want to spiff them or reward them or thank them, this is a great way to do it. You know, so I would recommend you do that. And it doesn't like, 
I don't care what format you do it in. You could do it on a piece of paper, print it out and hand it out. You could do a jot form if you want to and do it electronically. You know I'm a fan of getting in front of people, right? You could email this out, but it's not going to have the same punch than if you are handing it to them in person and looking them in the eye and say, I want to get to know you a little bit better. Fill this out. Get back to me. Okay? There's a lot of, like, why don't you email your mortgage lenders and put them on a drip campaign and, you know, send them texts and send them emails and... Like we get enough of that. Like maybe in bulk, you might be able to land a couple, but your stuff better be really good that you're emailing out. It better be really good. Okay. Or else why are they going to open it from you? Okay. We get enough email. So get out of the office, go meet some people, like get to know them a little bit better, earn their business. Okay. You have to earn it. They're not just going to give it to you. Okay. Cause you sent them an email. All right. So get out and earn it. That's my that's my take for you today. And this takes time, okay? It takes time. If you if you drop in their office once and they don't send you anything, you haven't earned anything yet. Get back in front of them. This stuff takes time, okay? You got to get in front of them two, three, four, five, six times. But once it clicks and once it gets going, it's all worth it, okay? It's all worth it. So be patient. Be methodical, you know, be aggressive in a good way, be present, be authentic, and and get out there and, and earn some referrals, okay? My name is Matt. This is Agency Launch. You can find me all over the place. I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Deets Agency. Don't forget to send me a text, 208-213-8809, and send me the word commercial, and I'll hook you up with a an asset from Agency Launch on how to get your foot in the door by writing more workers' comp. And don't forget my master program at agencylaunch.net. Thank you so much for listening. Keep up the good work.